Hello, hello, bloggers. Welcome back to all of you. My name is Nikhil, all the way from India. So, today we are going to explore how to configure a P chat survey for virtual agent. So, before doing any configuration, let's understand what is P chat survey. P chat survey is the survey which runs before invoking any particular topic of the virtual agent or routing to a live agent and it can be useful for to determine what topics need to be executed and which agent you want to connect so let's create a survey so i have this use case where we have to create a survey uh, which will have these two questions which support do you need and what do you why do you need above support so let's create okay so from the application navigator if you will type survey and you could see the survey application and under that we have a menu survey designer click that and it will open a page to design our survey it's loading ok so our first question is uh, let me give a name uh, demo chat okay. uh, demo pre I would say the demo pre chat survey VA okay. And uh, our first question is choice, so I selected and drag and drop here. And our question is okay, so which. Support are you looking for? Okay, like that. And you have to edit these questions for that. You have to click this cog icon here and support. You can say support type, okay? Support underscore type, and see so here you can see you uh, have to read a raise incident. And request item, and I am specifying the same value as name. Request item uh, search articles okay. and point agent and last but not the least the okay and for this. Okay, and just close it. And another question we have to add, and the type will be string. It is basically for asking like query. Why do you need? Above support, why you need why do you need okay. uh, let's suppose user has selected raise incident obviously then we have to ask the query reason for creating incident right 
that's why I have uh, using this another question why do you need so let's save first see for these two questions we have to create a variable context variable so that we can access in topic or based on that we can execute based on that we can go to the live agent so for creating a context variable uh, from the application navigator type conversational interfaces okay and under this application you could see this settings so here you could see we have uh, this two card context variables in pre-chat service why we are going to create a context variable the question comes first right basically see when user select uh, this choice when user select any of the choice or and if user will query based in the selected support then we have to store somewhere and we have to access in the topic that's why we have to create a context variable okay uh, before that uh, let's create a survey record first so I'll click view all this means all so based on the portals we have this many records for chat survey but we have to create a new as name I have given here I just want to copy this and an order and the survey uh, I think we have to publish first mm. uh, let's do one thing this, we, we have saved this uh, from the application navigator this type survey and surveys so we have this view service and our survey is this okay let's open a new tab a new window so if you scroll down below you could see the metric categories okay So whenever you create a survey, it will create a category. Let's open a new tab. Okay. Uh, if I open this, see these are the yeses matrix these are the questions which we have created so here you can see the context what is this context ok so again uh, this is basically referring to the context variable record like uh, whenever the user uh, select the particular choice and that value will be stored into the context variable and that we can access across the topic or for uh, routing to the live agent we can use that so 
So again, I'm going to type conversational interfaces. Click this. Okay, I think. So let's create a context variables first. So let's create a new context variable. We have to create a two context variables. So I'll say that pre uh, p uh, underscore chat pre chat support underscore type. Okay. So here you can see pre chat support type. And that's it. Just save it. Uh, let's create another context variable. Code query, okay. Rechat support query, and let's save it. Nice. Now, if I'll go here and which supports are you looking for? I'll click that lookup. So you can see here preset support type and just save it. Uh, for this, which support are you looking for? We have map with uh, context variables. So we have to map with why. Why do you need? Open this and let's map with this question also. So here I just want to type control V support query. So okay, that's awesome. Let's save it. All we have to do is that we have to publish. So let's publish this uh, survey. Now I am going to copy this name so that we can select while creating a pre survey record. See, I am again and again. I am saying record, 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 because in service now we have a table, records, fields. That's only. So let's click this new button here. New and let's select the survey from here. Then we will see why it is not populating. Uh, maybe let's go in. We have to select. Uh, let me click this. So over here. Use this survey in ITSM conversation. I think we have to select this, then only it will populate there. Okay, and let me 
click here again okay so you could see a demo pre-chat survey okay. and order I just want to keep with the default which is 100 and just save it okay so we have uh, this pre-chat we could configure so let's go to the portal and check whether it is working or not Let's wait for a while. Uh, it's taking a time, friend, because it's totally your branded new instance. So here you could see there is no some person. We have raised incident as. No. We have raised incident as so choose question is this correct? See um, we have raised incident. So let me start end this conversation. Okay. And let me refresh because I doubt we have these two questions, only a second one came. We have raised incident as so choice question. Is this correct? Not asking for the error question. Let's open this in no tab. We select this as mandatory and save it. Conversation. Okay, and let me open chat window again. I think again we have to. If this, this Why the first question it is not asking? Okay, what I feel is that there is only one. Okay, as you could see here, uh, since I was created a more than one choice value, but uh, here it is only showing one. That means we have to create uh, other choices from here. I think uh, let's 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 do that. It's not good. It's not good. I think. Uh, value we can see. We have to select this one. 
submit So request item let me create uh, let me open one of them for articles and for this skip a three as value and let's insert an a and we have the last options others for this let's give a four in certain state nice and let's rephrase this portal again and hopefully it will ask question okay we have to end the previous conversation first Let's refresh it again. See, you could see which supports are you looking for. Uh, request item, others, as a raise incident. Why do you need? So it's not mandatory. That's why this skip button is showing here. Why do you need? Why do you need? Now let's say uh, my Outlook server is okay. Uh, I am not able to send and receive. Email. Okay. Awesome. Love it. So you could see. Sponsoring incident support. Are you looking? I'm not able to send this email. Is this summary accurate? And if you say yes or no, based on that, we'll create. Uh, see. Select the yes. So this is uh, basically a uh, coming under greeting from greeting topic. It is calling to anything else topic like that. Okay, so this is how. Pre-chat survey can we configure? So in next video we'll show how to use this. Okay, for raising incident to connect to the live agent to search knowledge articles. If you really like this video, do like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, friend. Thank you for watching.